Okay, in the last video, uh, it got cut at the end of it, so I'm gonna just repeat something. Point number four was that the knot follows the manut in terms of the adad. The adad, which means number. The number. What do you mean by number? Meaning that, uh, like in English, we have singular and plural. Singular and plural. In Arabic, we have singular, dual, and plural. We have the singular, the mufrad, the dual, which is the musanna, and the plural, which is the jam. The singular is one, the dual is two, and the plural is three or more. So if the ad, if the manut is singular, if the manut is singular, the nat is also going to be singular. I'll give you an example. Um, if you say, for instance, Hada. Uh, very bad. Hada Alamun. Okay. Rahisun. Rahis. Rahisun means cheap. This is a cheap pen. Hada Alamun Rahisun. Alamun is singular. It's Mufrad. And Rahisun is also Mufrad. Okay. Um, if I made made it into two pens. Two pens, okay? Hadani, which we didn't learn this officially, but I just want to give you an idea so you'll know, you'll have an understanding um, about the, uh, the, the adad. What does it mean to be that the nat follows the, the manut in terms of the adad? Hadani, qalamani, qalamani. Qalamani means two pens. Hadani, qalamani. And if you want to say they're cheap, it becomes. Rakhisani Rakhisani Hadani Qalamani Rakhisani Notice Rakhisani The Ani at the end of it means that it's two So they match In terms of the dual And also in terms of the plural <coughs> If I say Haulai Which means These These are Tulabun We didn't see this word yet but Tulabun is a plural for student. So it means students. These are students. I want to, this is my manut. This is my manut. I want to not to describe the students. And I want to say that they're hard working. What do we do? Tulabun muj tahiduna. Muj tahiduna. Duna, muj tahiduna is the plural of muj tahid. Okay? So notice that this is plural and this is plural. The nat follows the manut in terms of number.